here in Hollywood, California, catching up with Junior Flyweight prospect Brooks Sibian, about to go to take his her second pro fight on January 27th. It's great. I've, I've, I met you a couple years ago. You were an amateur at the time. How does it feel being a pro fighter now? Um, it feels amazing. Um, thank you so much. And I'm excited to be here. You know, in the media workout here at Wild Card Boxing, um, and for the 360 Promotions um, card uh, on January 27th. I'm a little shy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your story about how your whole journey about wanting to become a pro fighter, all those long rides, I was talking to your fiance Jose, all those long rides you guys used to take every day, driving to the Coachella Valley, yeah. coming back to LA for three, was it three years? How long did you guys do it? We did that for two months and then we moved. You guys moved. Yeah, probably. I made it uh, official, you know, the moving from LA to Coachella um, and now we've been there for three years. So. It's been, honestly, it's, it's gone fast because we've been working hard every day and um, sometimes it still surprises me that I'm our, like a pro now, but um, we've been working hard and, and, and staying on track and, and doing all of the things, you know, all the sacrifices and believing and here we are. So. Well, this wasn't something spontaneous. You guys had a plan, right? We did, yeah. And, um, you know, through through the our dedication and commitment, you know, things fell into place and, and we got this opportunity. So we're like, wow, you know, to be able to stay it one day, but then see it and see it come into fruition, it's, it's another thing and it's beautiful. So we're just taking advantage of it, enjoying it and giving it all our all. And you get to fight on such a big part as uh, what it is, 360 Promotion. Led by Tom Loeffler's uh, uh, boxing company. Um, you just wanted one or two fights as an amateur, right? Yes. When did all that change? Um, once I started, I we couldn't stop, you know. And then it just it happened so fast because um, we're just so focused on the training and the next fight and the next fight, and then you know, next day comes 25, and and so here we are. But um, um, it is a really great opportunity and like I said super excited and just ready to give it all. Jose, do you want to elaborate a little bit about what this whole plan was about leading your fiance Brooke to what it is now her second profile and what the future plan it is for you guys and obviously you want her to succeed as much as possible. You, you're thinking the yeah. whole nine yards, you're thinking yeah, 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 yeah. Title yeah. Ball, right? Yeah, I mean I, if you let me say it right it'll sound a little crazy it'll say like multi not at all multi-divisional world okay. champion you know right. uh, I think she could cover from 105 to 115 right she's measured herself with some of the best in those weight classes so I truly believe she's she's that good right uh, I I, I kind of say it right to myself and quiet she's to me she's a phenom she's 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 uh she's not normal she's extraordinary you know she's not no, she's not normal uh, I believe that we're here for a short time but a great time right we're not here for a long time because you know we're not we're not we're not young puppies we're not 18 19 years old right but given that you're gonna see a different type of uh, I think style dedication and our journey is gonna be slightly different because of that right uh, when we did decide to move I mean obviously I was actively fighting more, more yeah. frequently right and I helped Choco with the last three four five camps that he was part yeah he took part of over there in Coachella when we moved the, the goal was to get Marcos to train me but then also train her right right thankfully because of coach Marcos all this was able to happen right like we got her that good Marcos specifically uh, when he was able un, unable to go to certain fights or national tournaments or I, that's what I was there but you know she's always gonna have me around no matter what right whether I'm the head whether I'm the side it doesn't matter I'm always gonna be there but our team I think it's what made that happen right like without Marcos us two, we won't get that that far, right? But then, if it was just her and Marcos, it would only get so far. You get what I'm saying? But I think us collectively as a group, as we mo keep moving forward, things are going to get bigger, things are, you know? I just think the smaller and the closer we stay as a team, everything will work out, just like it's supposed to work out. I believe she will take over boxing, uh, just quietly coming in here, right? Doing what she has to do, proving, fighting who she has to fight, proving her point, making a statement, 
Yeah, and she's here to stay. 108, 105, 112, 115. She's gonna do it. First uh, female fighter of Salvadorian descent that will be making noise here in the state. Yeah, yeah. She, I mean, when we went to El Salvador, she was greeted with well, open arms. So okay. That was an amazing experience. Yeah. experience from your first about to now facing Nikia Williams on January 20th. Uh, yeah, the first first um, fight was, uh, I mean, as expected, a really good fight. Um, tough fighter that I faced. Um, she had more experience, pro experience than I did. And that was a goal cool because, you know, we wanted to have an exciting fight for the fans, but also, you know, challenge me and, and also um, see, you know, what we're about. So um, we went the four rounds. I did win by unanimous decision. Um, and uh, I ended up having a hematoma after some headbutt, so that was a that was a crazy you know experience for the first yeah. time. Um, but we healed up, and um, now we're we making some adjustments for this this fight, and um, yeah, ready to go. So Jose was telling me he's telling us right now that he sees you as a multi-division champ. So you see someone. Um, I'm gonna say the names: Yo Casta Valle, Evelyn Bermudez. You see someone uh, at 112, like Marlene Esparza. You are what? 29, 30 years old. 30. So you give yourself a, a time frame of what? Two, three years for fighting those, those for those world title belts. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's definitely achievable, um, and we're ready to fight everybody. So um, whenever that time comes, obviously, you know. Um, We'll be yeah. well, how many fights are you trying on, on, on uh, getting this to get, to get to the contention level? Jose? Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Manager? Trainer? If, if given the opportunity to fight on 360 more than once, okay. and we can say, great. knock in something you know more uh, stable, I believe I would, me and her, probably the Marcos would agree that Again, for a short time, not a long time. So maybe five, six fights this year alone. Yeah. So there's definitely a six, good seven, chance. Six, seven fights. We, that's what we would want. Counting on on how good her performance is. Exactly. There may be uh, actually some signings with, with exactly the, with yeah, the promotion yeah. of yeah, company, yeah. right? So I mean that's that's something that every fighter would want, right? On a big company to get behind them and, and have them go to that level, right? I think Tom Loeffler. All right, yeah. appreciate it, guys. Thank you for sharing some of your stories. Viva so Nicaragua! Much. Viva Nicaragua! Viva Salvador! Puchicabas! Thank you, guys. We'll see you on fight night.